Are you ready for an RC car that's completely different from anything we've done here at RC Review? How about an all metal RC car, classic RC car that you assemble yourself, more than 300 parts, all metal? So here it is, it's a, a classic car, all metal, uh, uh, pays homage to the industrial age of the world when we started making everything, inventing everything. Um, a lot of metallurgy happening. And this company is doing, they have a ton of products, dozens and dozens of products that really celebrate this age. And a couple things I noticed were a, a dragonfly uh, connected to the, to a motor and it flaps its wings, metal wings or whatnot. <laughs> and then the result, they also had an engine that's a scale model and you put it together yourself and then you, it's basically a, a desk ornament. They're great teaching tools. So if you, if you, a father and son, a daughter and mother assembled it together, uh, quality time and the kid learns a lot. Or it could just be a gift to, to, the, to the person who is into it, the man, man, who, man who has everything, maybe woman, but I doubt it. <laughs> so what caught my eye was this one. It's an RC classic car. First, I thought it was just a shelf queen, but it's actually RC. It's controlled by a phone, phone app. And I said, hey, let's check it out. So here it is. It's a company ca is called Teching, and they have a store called Moyu Store. We'll have links in the description. This might interest you. If not, there might be other things in there. It's a, it's a great gift. Uh, if, you have a, if, I have a, if I had a kid, I'd give it to them, you know, under the condition that they assemble it. Because it teach, it's, I think it's a great teaching tool. So here's the manual, and uh, you know, you have your doubts, because they're not cheap. This one's $440. So you have your doubts, you go, man, is it worth it? You know, from, from Asia. But I'll show you in a second that, wow, this thing is legit. And here is the manual, difficulty rating of four out of five, 300 plus parts. So uh, the photography is not good, but the illustrations are dialed. All the detail is there, uh, seems easy enough. There's also videos on YouTube. Uh, one group did a step-by-step step on it, 22 minutes long, but it shows you each step if you don't wanna read the manual. So instead of pulling stuff out of that box, I just put it all here, three layers of stuff. It's super nicely packaged. And these blue sheets separating them. And I want this in the middle. So what I'll do, is I'll talk you through it, just an unboxing, we'll assemble it, and then we will run it. You know, I'm not sure how much running we could do, radius test, acceleration. <laughs> but I think it's four wheel drive, no, it's two wheel drive. And um, we'll give it the torture test as well, right? That's what we do. So here it is, give you the idea of the quality of it. I'll talk you through it. So the, one of the most impressive things is the chassis. Very wide aluminum CNC billet. Not sure the camera can focus on the quality of this, but this is what I hope to show you guys. You know, what, what kind of quality are you paying for here? But all metal, I hope they gave us Loctite, all precision. And I'll just pick up some parts here and there. This is a, looks like a steering rack. And then the wheels are notable right away. So not bead locks, no foam, period correct. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, there's a little bit of tread, huh? <laughs> so these things are built already. And then, ooh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. So it's not all metal. This looks metal, it's a chair. 
but it's made of plastic, bronzed. So everything has been CNC'd or steering rack, CNC'd or cast and, and polished. So it's got a nice luster to it. They give you some tools here. So they say a four hour assembly is typical. I can't quite tell if these are, if some are metal or plastic, but here are some parts, the grill. And then as we bounce around on this, so here is the, the engine cover, definitely metal. So observe, you know, it's all about when you pay this much money for a kit, well, how, what is the quality of the casting? So it's not a scale model. I wish, you know, it would be a lot easier to judge if it was scale modeled after one of the, uh, the historic cars, but it's not. And then we go here, connectors, a lot of wiring and whatnot. So the, uh, you, you know, you, you got to figure what you're paying for, right? But what you're paying for is, is 300 parts of goodies. <laughs> and from what I hear from people who built this, you know, is the, it comes together perfectly well. The, it has lights, left, left and, left and right headlights. LED boards, it has a, a LiPo battery. I think a 500 or 800. This is your steering servo, not that big. So it is, it is an RC car, you know, crazy, huh? So you'd expect this to be just a, a desk ornament, but it's a real RC car. And, ooh, what is this? A little cable for shifting. And here we have some Really nice machine parts. This is probably your axle. What else? Leaf springs. So leaf springs all around. So the two leaves per 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 spring. And what else does it have? It has a so it's sitting on a motor, a single cylinder motor, like the cars of old. And this is your, your cylinder and pissed, oof, what the heck? Is that a piston? And your piston shaft. So very fascinating. You know, like I said, if you were a kid and you were curious how big piece of cast metal here, you're curious how engines work, how cars work, this covers all the basic steps, basic components of a, of a motor. And then here we go, it gets interesting. I think this is your main spur gear. And then they include the motor, of course. It's already has a transmission inside there, so it's already geared down. So they say, what is it? 45 minutes of runtime, you know, cause it doesn't, it doesn't go that fast. You just tool around and whatnot. And then it has a belt that transfers the power from the motor to the to the wheels, I'm sure, belt driven. And then we're getting close to the end here. What is this? This is interesting. So you have a magnet here and you have two light bulb batteries. I am not sure why there's two of them. Two cylinder. <laughs> And this is probably one of the last few big parts that is interesting. So this, 
this is not really obviously not not operational but this this will spin show you the role of this crankshaft in the engine and then and then we get to the hardware so the hardware is nicely organized nicely labeled and this is where a lot of the 300 parts comes in <laughs> there's two of these bad boys bearings ball bearings all around so actually this is pretty cool nicely you know sometimes when you do a kit like this what takes the longest is looking for the stuff right looking for the right screws and parts trees and all that stuff so it's all this is all uh, organized ready to avoid that so we will probably need a driver for it so and let us know uh, if you have any ideas what size driver for well, five inch six inch or I'm sure it's not eight inch it can't be that big who maybe Marty McFly can can write in this thing so how it's controlled is with an iPhone app so it's sim similar to the Xiaomi car that we have we, uh, controlled by iPhone app it's it's not so easy to do it it's it's good enough but if you're not doing anything technical it's it's it can be done uh, we're, we'd be curious as well to put in a receiver and and transmitter for it control it that way so there it is the teching classic car so if you are interested in this uh, the, the the link will be in the description but I think look around their site you know the, the interesting part is they have so much stuff you know hundred dollar stuff under a hundred bucks you know the like I said the dragonfly all these all these engines that are models of the industrial age so to speak but you know see if anything tickles your fancy and uh, what we what you should be able to see is they're all going to be of this quality you know I can't imagine they one 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 of their models has a way different quality than this it's, it's all going to be this it's just a number a matter of how many pieces are you getting in, in these little kits all right thanks a ton